good everybody welcome in slide this over but to get started we have I think 15 orders to ship out today from yesterday really really good sales day yesterday there we go got everything set up welcome in everybody 15 orders going out the door we have four on Poshmark and 11 on eBay a couple sold this morning actually a couple sold while I was pulling orders so that's pretty cool uh, let me head over to my shipping page if you're watching this on replay on Facebook or YouTube, make sure you hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. As you're hopping on in, make sure you're liking the live, all that good stuff. So if you're not first, you're last. What's up, Elliot? Welcome in, welcome in. Got lots of orders to ship. What's up, Booty Barbara over on YouTube? I like seeing all the familiar faces hop on, hopping over to YouTube. Um, if you didn't see the live thrift yesterday, that's up on YouTube. Um, after that live thrift, Chris and I went to a couple more stores. We couldn't do lives there because there was no connection um, at those stores. So we just uh, filmed some content Chris was doing. I think he's going to put out a YouTube video for his entire trip. I don't know if he's going to do like a one part or two part because it's going to be a pretty decently long video. But we hauled out. We got some good stuff at um, the other stores for him. So yeah, he's pretty happy. He's going to ship back probably like two or three U-Haul boxes full of clothing um, that he can... Um, list that was his whole purpose of the trip was to come down here and find as much as he could um so that way he can bring it back and do some listings at home so he doesn't get as good inventory up where he is or he has to travel pretty far he has to drive like an hour or two away so you figure he'd just fly down come hang out for a little bit and buy a bunch of stuff so that's a uh, that's cool i think he's going to try to do this once every few months um so you might see like a collaboration between us like once every few months um, when he comes down, do a little live thrifting together. Yesterday he was going to do live thrifting in the morning, but he said like if he did live thrifting in the morning, he probably would have been too tired um, to continue to do it. So yeah, real pack masterfully as I do. I know he might not. He might not. <laughs> um, how do you build your Poshmark from the ground up? Poshmark is the same as eBay. You're just going to list quality inventory. Um, when you're listing on Poshmark, uh, make sure you're taking good photos, distinguish or try to separate yourself out from the other people. Uh, make sure you have good titles, put in the whole item name, all that good stuff. Um, and then share your closet. Share your closet is key. Push those listings to the top of search. Every time you hit share to followers, even if you only have one follower, it moves your item near the top of search. I think now there's paid promotion, so you won't be at top um, always like you used to, but you'll be near the top of search. So that way if somebody searches for your item, you're not all the way down in the bottom. They don't have to scroll for like 10 minutes to find your item. Your item will be right at the top if you do that share tool. So um, yeah, uh, that's what I would suggest. I use AutoPosture, it does all that for me, um, but you can do that all by hand. I wouldn't suggest getting AutoPosture until you have um, a decent amount of listings to make that make sense. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with some Poshmark orders first. First sale is going to be this Polo Ralph Lauren viscose shirt this is one of the ones i picked up when i found all four of them at the same store um, i paid 16.05 for this one it sold for 60 bucks so after fee shipping cost of goods i make a profit of 31 dollars 95 cents some people would say paying 16 dollars at a thrift store is crazy i'm crazy because i'd rather pay 16 dollars and make 31 dollars in less than i think this has been listed, listed less than a week so really good sale really good print on this one too it's got the hula girls all over it just a really really nice polo ralph lauren shirt so 60 into or 1605 into 60. some more orders um sneaks thank you no problem carolyn appreciate you appreciate you supporting uh what's a good way to learn about search engine optimization seo um there's a bunch of videos on youtube um about how to make a perfect ebay listing i would watch one of those um yeah, you're just, the, the title, or you can go look at my eBay store. Just go look at my eBay store and see how I put my titles, and then copy the way I use my titles. Um, I always put the name brand first, the size second, and then put all of my keywords after that. Men's long sleeve, for example, this, actually I don't have this one. I'll tell you what one of my listings um, were, actually here, I'll show you, I'll tell you what this one was. So for that Polo Ralph Lauren shirt, this is exactly how I listed it. Um, my sales. I listed it as a Polo Ralph Lauren Men's 3XB. That's the name brand and then the size, 3XB. Viscose light green Hawaiian print short sleeve shirt. All those keywords. So people, when they type in Hawaiian short sleeve shirt, mine will pop up. Polo Ralph Lauren 3XB, mine will pop up. So on and so forth. Use as many keywords as you can. Try to fill out that entire, entire title. And do you get your packaging from the post office for free? Yes, these are Tyvek envelopes. So with Poshmark, um, you get a priority mail label and you're allowed to use any free priority mail packaging that you get from the post office. So I use the Tyvek envelopes for almost all of my Poshmark orders. 
Did I miss your um, thrift haul last night? No, we didn't do a thrift haul last night because Chris and I got back um, super late. We got back at like seven o'clock and by that time I was so tired. Um, so yeah, I, we no, no live thrift haul. I'm gonna try to do one today, um, but I was thinking after the live, I didn't mention this, but I did give most of my stuff to Chris, the stuff that I found, because um, that was his whole purpose to come down here. So I gave a bunch of the stuff from that store to Chris and then everything else I found for the rest of the day, I ended up giving to Chris. So the live thrift haul will look minimal compared to what we found on the live thrift because I gave it all to him. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna do a live thrift haul. We, we might, I don't know, we'll see. Had a little shirt I bought from your whatnot. I sold for 25 plus ship, let's go. Um, the Tyvek, um, I don't get to stick. So I end up having to use a lot of tape. I just use a little piece of tape. I just pull off a little piece of tape. You'll see me do it on the next one. Pull off a little piece of tape and stick it at the end. It'll hold your item. I've never had anything open um, by using that little piece of tape. Um, you don't have to use a ton, just use a use a little little strip. All right, next up, we got a bundle sale. Um, both of these shirts same, sold to the same buyer. They actually offered on three items, and then their offer was way too low, so I just declined it. It was like a hundred dollar bundle, and they offered like twenty six bucks. So then they came back and they offered on both of these shirts. They took one out and they increased their offer to forty two bucks, and I was like, okay, I'll take that. So this Peter Millar shirt and this Brooks Brothers shirt sold together for $42. I only paid $13.34 for um, both of them together. Um, so I made a profit of $20.26, which is pretty goody, pretty goody, pretty good for Peter Millar and um, Brooks Brothers. Um, typically you don't get high prices for these anymore. So taking that offer, I was just trying to move two pieces. Um, what's up? Good morning, good morning, everybody. Um, no, okay, I got everybody over there. Where'd you get um, your packaging? The clear bags, all the packaging materials I use are linked in my bio. Clear bags are in the products we use on a daily basis. The t uh, the envelopes I'm gonna use here in a little bit, those are gyro pack envelopes and I have a discount code in my bio for those so you can buy them straight from gyro pack. Typically they're cheaper than Amazon if you use my discount code. And then this I get free from USPS.com. You get all free USPS packing supplies from USPS.com. SDs, what's up? Welcome in. By the way, everybody let me know how their, how their sales were yesterday. I forgot to ask everybody. Let me know your best sale down below, how many sales you had. Um, was your day as good as mine? Because yesterday we had, a, we had a pretty good day of sales. We have a really, really good um, sale later on that you guys are going to be super surprised by. Um, does it make you sound like sort of a Robin Hood? Stealing from the poor and giving away to Chris. What a nice guy. I know. Snap. <laughs> I thought you were an actual troll there, Snap. Yes, I, I do feel like Robin Hood. I feel like Robin Hood, yes. Call me, call me young Robin Hood. <laughs> Sold nothing. Sold a pair of cool jeans. Nice. Nice. I like a troll at this, man. Zero, zero. No, typically, Thursdays are my worst day. Um, actually, Wednesdays. Wednesdays are typically. Wednesday and Thursdays are typically my first day. I keep feeling like today's Friday because we're going on vacation tomorrow. So if I, if I say today's Friday multiple times, I apologize because <laughs> today feels like a Friday to me. Um, next up. I guess we'll do these. Um, this is a pair of shoes. I've already packaged them up. They're a pair of, I think you pronounce the brand as Magnani, Magnani shoes. It's a really high-end brand. The resale isn't great, um, but they're a pair of loafers. Um, I only paid $8 for them in a bulk buy locally and they sold for $35 after fees, shipping costs, goods, I make 20 bucks. Um, but I don't pay up for these. Some thrift stores price them up because the retail on these are like over 200, um, but the resale isn't really that great, so. One sale yesterday, we made a good profit on a pair of dance goes. Nice. Nice. Dance goes are a little hard to pick up a, um, a good uh, style. There's only a few style, styles that still sell really well. So, um, sold Heroescape lot less than one hour for 75. I'll be, isn't that, um, isn't that a board game? Heroescape? I think it is. I think Heroescape is a board game. I've heard of it before. I think it's like a bolo. A bolo. I would never. I would never. All right, last Poshmark sale and all the rest are eBay. This um, doesn't look good, but it's actually a decent sale. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren shirt. It's a size 2XL, um, but it's a solid white shirt. And after we got it home, we noticed it had a stain. I believe it's on the cuff. I still listed it, but I listed it lower. If it's a solid white shirt and has any stains at all, typically the value of them drops significantly. So um, I listed this really low just to get my um, cost of goods back. I paid $8 for it and it sold for 19. So I still make a profit of $7.20. But if this didn't have the stain on it, it's a good size. It's a solid white dress shirt and I believe it has the pony um, on the front somewhere. So this should be a 25 plus dollar sale. But because I had the stain, I basically tried to get my money back. I would have probably took a lower offer than that, but I got that $17 offer and, and I, it was $17? No, $19 offer and I decided to take it. So. 
uh, why you see OJ Simpson died? No, I didn't see that. <clears throat> I haven't looked at any news at all. Is auto posture worth it uh, when you're first starting out? Not selling a lot yet. Um, or making a lot of money? No, I would say once you get a decent amount of listings, that's when auto posture is worth it. Um, just because I promote auto posture, I'm not going to tell everybody to go out and get it because if it doesn't make sense for you, I'm not going to tell you to get it. Um, I would say once you have at least like 100 eBay listings, then you should be taking, you should be considering taking auto posture and moving those 100 listings over to Poshmark and Mercari. Um, and it's super easy to do with auto posture. Um, I have a tutorial out if you guys haven't watched it yet. It's not fully out, but supposedly it comes out possibly next week um, for everybody. So you won't have to worry about like asking her for access. But until you get about 100 listings, I would say auto posture is not worth it. You, you need to really get your listings up because the, the whole premise of buying a product like that is to have the product pay for itself very, very fast and then make you more money. If you don't have enough listings, it's not going to make you more money. You're going to be paying a subscription fee. Um, it doesn't make sense. So just, uh, I would say get more listings. Um, bought an American Giant Storm Zip hoodie for $2.75, sold same day. Yeah, I love American Giant, so good. That was a men's American Giant too, most likely, and uh, men's always sell uh, for more. Uh, next time I come down, can I get some dollars for Kayla? Of course, you can get some dollars. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> Is that 100 listings per, per month? Um, then I get it. I would say once you have 100 total listings, 100 total listings on one of your platforms, whether it be eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, because then you can transfer all those listings over to the other sites. And once you get 100, you're probably consistently listing probably five-ish per day, five days a week. So that would make sense. Then you can transfer all your listings all the time. You'll make more money um, doing it that way because you're opening yourself up to more markets. But until you get 100 listings, I would say I would say no. Um, I bought a box of Mr. Bubble Bath. Vintage box, 50 cents at a state sale, sold 24 hours for 25. Um, later, the buyer wrote a sweet review about how it allowed her to relieve her child. Nice. Hey, there you go. That's the bubble bath bubbles. Vintage bubble bath bubbles. Wow. That's crazy. Um, I started on Poshmark. Auto Poshmark made a world of difference in sales. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the fact it shares, it cross lists now, all that stuff. I mean, it's basically everything you need to run your business. She is going to implement some more stuff down the road. She's kind of had discussions with me about it, um, which will even make it better than it currently is. Um, but obviously, I can't talk about that because it's not out yet. But it's going to be really good. She's, she's going to keep updating it and keep making it better and better and better. Um, I hope one day it's basically a service that does everything you want. Everything. Anything you think of with your business, it does it all for you. Automated, um, so you don't have to worry about putting in anything. It just does it all for you, which would be great because that just leaves us more time to focus on doing listings. All right, let's get to some eBay orders real quick. Um, first one is a Jay Lindbergh Polo, one of my favorite Polo brands to pick up. Had this one listed for $30, Auto Posture sent out a best offer of $26.99. Somebody took that offer. Um, I only paid $2.67 for this polo, so that was a really good sale. Um, easy profit, um, buyer paid shipping on that, so really, really good money. Uh, what is the Ralph Lauren logo with the gold leaf and the crown logo? Gold leaf and the crown logo, That's a, that's a isn't that the Chaps logo? I think it's a Chaps logo. I'm praying for Etsy to be added. I don't know if she's going to do Etsy because not a lot of people sell on Etsy, Meg. Um, yeah, uh, she's planning on probably adding more services down the road. But for right now, the big four are eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. Those are pretty much where everybody sells. Um, so, yeah. Um, follow tuition and she picks up. Yep, awesome, awesome seller right there. Tuition, isn't cheap. Uh, tuition ain't cheap. Um, I had a bot early on. It helped a ton with Poshmark because of sharing and offers. I started um, there before eBay. There you go. Uh, yeah, I had a I had a bot um, before too. Um, I forget the name of the bot that I used. So it was a share bot, and I just used it just to share. And it was like I think it was like ten or fifteen dollars per month. Um, Auto Posture does everything else for just a little bit more. It's crazy. One of the most professional resellers I've seen. Completely dedicated um, to what you do. Keep up the good work. Appreciate you, Holly. Appreciate the. Uh, Appreciate the kind words coming on in. Kind words on a on a Thursday. I'm happy, chat, because I got today. Once we get through today, we're on vacation for the weekend, and I can't wait. Ugh, I can't wait. Vacation, here we come. Who is she? Auto, whenever I say she, Auto Posture is a, um, a female who runs the company, Niha. So whenever I say she, I, I just I've talked to her so much that. Um, We've had so many conversations that I just refer to Auto Posture as she because she's the brains behind the operation. So, um, yeah, if you ever hear me say she, it's 
Auto Posture is a is a female. <laughs> she's she's the one who runs the service. Uh, I totally get it. Uh, not strong enough business case yet. Um, I'll keep dreaming of it. Keep dreaming of it. Yeah. Um, maybe down the road. I mean, I mean, if she wants to be competitive with the other services, um, she probably will add it. Um, it's probably not top on her priority list though. There's probably other things um, she wants to she wants to um, get done first. Appreciate you, Jaylicious. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be relaxing. Next up, um, this is a Kayla pickup. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to talk too much about it, but it's a Sailor's Women's Rainbow Small Dress. That's what it is. Um, paid $10.70 for this. We listed it about a month and a half ago and it sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, picked this up, I believe, at Red, White, and Blue. Easy peasy sale. Um, again, if you guys missed it, you guys are just hopping in. Um, I did a live thrift yesterday. Chris at Peak was there. Um, so make sure you go um, like the live, watch it for a little bit, put a comment in there, support the lives. I'm trying to grow my uh, YouTube channel. Um, Surfs and I were talking last night about um, YouTube and like video ideas that we can put out. Um, Surfs has a really good um, series that he's doing, and I might uh, I might rip it off from him. He told me I can chat, but um, he does like your top 10 sales of the month. So like the top 10 sales of April, he puts that video out obviously the month after April. Um, so I might take that idea, maybe do five instead of 10, something like that. Um, but I'm planning to um, do more YouTube videos. So go support on YouTube, put those likes on the videos, try to push them out a little bit, get some more followers. Um, I also plan when I get back from vacation, I'm gonna make a video about um, photos because I get a lot of questions about how do you take photos. I know I don't do the lives anymore at night, taking my photos on live. I'm planning to bring those back too, um, both the YouTube and Facebook but um, I plan to make a video, like a tutorial video on how to do photos three ways. One, paid way, obviously paying for the products to make your photos look good, and then two free ways that make your um, photos look really good so you don't have to put anything into them. Um, so I'm gonna make that video probably the week after I get back from vacation, and I'll put that up on YouTube. And then I'm probably gonna try to put a video out every week, like smaller videos, not really long form, just like tutorial videos out on YouTube. So that way I can help all the newcomers because I get a lot of new people coming into my lives that always have the same questions. And if I can make all these videos for all the questions, I can just send them to YouTube and be like, yeah, that, that answer to that question is up on YouTube. Go watch X and Y video. And then, yeah, and then I just get more questions in the live and I make more videos about them. Easy peasy. Then everybody's happy. All right, next up, just a Polo Ralph Lauren t-shirt. Um, pick this up for like a buck. Um, I think I bought them bulk buy for like a dollar and it sold for $10 plus shipping. Not a great sale. I normally don't pick stuff up this low, but I got it so cheap that I decided to. So, um, yeah, OJ, somebody just said OJ just died. OJ just died on my other, uh, on, uh, Instagram. That's what somebody else said too. All right. That one is coming in at nine ounces. So we're going to ship that out. If you guys are just hanging out, feel free to ask any questions you have in chat. Um, I'll try to answer as many as I can while I'm shipping orders. It's a good time to ask about shipping, about um, sales, about eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatever questions you have. Auto posture. If you have any questions about any of those, drop them down in the chat below. Otherwise, we'll just ship out some orders and I'll tell you what it, what's sold. <clears throat> All right, that one's shipped. Ooh, I got a really good sale coming up next. Really good sale. Um, this is a Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt. It's a really good one. It's 100% linen and it has a really big pattern both on the front and the back. Really big palm tree pattern. And it has the Hula Girls. So anytime Tommy Bahama has uh, the Hula Girls, always pick it up. They make the item worth more because people like the Hula Girl pattern. Um, paid ten fifteen. This one sold for fifty three ninety nine. Fifty three ninety nine pre owned Tommy Bahama. You guys have been picking these up on whatnot for like thirty forty bucks. I'm telling you guys, it's cheap because I list these super high because they always sell super high. Um, true colors are clothes and pictures. Uh, what would you suggest? So uh, Vanessa, lighting is key when it comes to that. Also, if you're using an iPhone, um, if you're using an iPhone in a white background, always tap on the white background. It'll um, I don't know the word for it because I'm not a professional photographer, but it'll make the um, darker colors look more proper when you hit that, when you tap on the white background. So if you have the iPhone, you have it set up, tap on the white background, it will flush out the colors so they actually look more natural. Um, that's what I do, and it tends to work. So what will be the best shirt um, you'll be wearing on the cruise? I don't know. Um, oh, I have a, um, 
I have a uh, Robert Graham shirt that I picked up at Red, White, and Blue. It has a fully embroidered, um, like floral all over the front. It's like a crazy Robert Graham shirt. That's the one I'm wearing to our, our special dinner. Um, do you wash your, all your clothes prior to selling? I wash items with stains or bad smells. If it doesn't have a stain or a bad smell, it gets listed as is. Um, should I start relisting my items on Poshmark every 30 days? You can. Um, relisting on Poshmark really doesn't matter. You just get on the newly listed page, but it doesn't like help you that much in search. So Poshmark relists aren't really key. I actually currently have mine turned off on Auto Posher um, because you just get on the newly listed page. With Poshmark, the key is sharing. That's it. Share as much as you can. Besides cross-listing, what are other benefits to Auto Posher? So it obviously, like you said, it cross-lists. It shares for you. It sends out offers for you on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. It follows people back on Poshmark, and then it relists on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. The three that are key with that are eBay, Mercari, and Depop. Because when it relists on eBay, what it does is it creates a brand new listing for you. It doesn't just take the old listing and just relist it. It takes down the old listing, makes a brand new listing with all the same information, so you get that push and search. Same on Mercari, it takes down your listing and it pushes you back to the top of search. And from what I understand, Depop is the same way, pretty much the same way as Mercari, it pushes you back to the top of search. So that's key, that's what sold me on Autoposher originally. I've been using Autoposher for um, well over a year now, strictly because of that reason. Um, it, it does that delist relist and it's, it's, it's amazing. White balance, yes, white balance, that's the one I was looking for. Um, any tips for beginner doing uh, only doing part-time only able to shop once a week So Ray what I want you to do is you're gonna see a lot of lower-end items that I'm picking up in my um, Videos like polo Ralph Lauren pieces stuff like that sure you can pick that stuff up But because you have less time you should be focusing on items with higher ASPs higher average sales prices Higher average profit per unit because you have less time so it means you have less time to list Meaning you should make more my average sales price right now is like 30 something bucks. It used to be it used to be 50 to 60 when I was part-time. So that gives you an idea of what you should be looking for, um, average sales price and all that stuff. KitKat, what's up? Um, what size bags are you using, clear and poly? So I have two different sizes, um, uh, Blaze, Blazely, I think it is. Go to the um, link in my bio, it's a link tree, and go to the products we use on a daily basis. Um, click on the clear bags um, that I have set up in there. Um, and the sizes you're going to pick are the size I currently have and the next size up. Those are the two size poly bags, clear bags that I use. Um, say that again about pictures. When you take your photos, if you have a dark item and it doesn't, it looks flushed out, you're just going to tap on the background and it's going to white balance. It's, it, it makes your item look more natural when you tap on the back, the background. It, it, yeah, just tap on the white background. It'll make it look better. You can also do it on like the floor and stuff, but if your background's already dark, sometimes it doesn't help out. Lighting is key, so make sure your lighting is good as well. Um, Robert Graham shirt sure, live off the back on the cruise. No, no, no. That would be smart, actually. Uh, what if I did that? Can I write off the whole cruise if I sell one shirt while I'm on, on the cruise? I, I should ask Caroline about that. Learn so much from you. Uh, I watch hours of your videos, lots of resellers. Sold two things on Poshmark. Um, no one was any more surprised than me. Let's go, Holly. That's awesome. Wayne, oh my God, guess what? What, Kit Kat? What? What size poly bags do you use? Um, the most I use the nine by eleven, I believe they are. Nine by eleven is the ones that I pretty much put all shirts in. So, just ran into Goodwill before an appointment I had. They had a Ralph Lauren green and pink button down size XL, and someone priced it as a T-shirt. Paid three thirty-one total. Let's go. Nice easy money right there. Vindu versus um, the current guy you use. Vindu versus the current guy I use. Well, Auto Posture is a woman, so. Um, but auto, uh, auto posture, in my opinion, is better than Vindu because Vindu breaks your links. When you relist your items on Vindu, it breaks your links. Auto posture, when it relists your items, your links are not broken, so auto sales detection will happen. I don't have to do anything. Auto posture relists my items, and when something sells, even if it was listed three months ago and it's been relisted twice already, it will auto sales detect and it will pull that item down. Vindu doesn't do that. Um, I believe auto posture's interface is. It's similar to Vindu, but I like Auto Posture a little bit more. I've I've watched a couple videos on Vindu. I like Auto Posture a little bit more. Um, and then um, Vindu doesn't have a share tool, from what I understand. Vindu has an app, but to be honest, you don't need an app. Um, I'm putting out a video when Auto Posture drops, and the whole video is made from my phone on the website. You literally just log in, and it's just like using an app. It's just as simple. Um, there's not really a difference. I know a lot of people are like, but Vindu has an app. The, the apps don't work any different than the website does. It's pretty much similar to the to the website. Um, share tool, follow tool on Poshmark, the Vindu doesn't have that, and Auto Posture 
gives you all that for less than Vendu offers um, for the same exact kind of products. I think Auto Posture is like $20 less than Vendu is um, for the same exact product. Um, and it's it works a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, what do you ship jeans in? Box or bag? Typically a bag, a uh, poly bag, or I use a padded flat rate envelope. Time for an interview. I'll catch a replay. Appreciate you, Carolyn. Um, have a good day. Um, which shipping options do you, um, you pick on whatnot? I just leave the shipping options the default. Um, yeah, they're defaulted. They're the same. Just signed up for Autoposture. Thanks. Nice. The the crosslister comes out. If you reach out to her, Jody, and you really want the cross crosslister right now, you can reach out to her, and she'll give you access to it. That's what she told me anyway. She's giving people access. All right, let's ship a couple items real quick, and I'll get back to uh, questions. Um, this is a pair of Lucky Brand um, shorts. I know a lot of people see brand new with tag items, and they're like, pick them up. It's brand new. Why would you pass on it? Well, this is a pair of Lucky Brand shorts. I paid ten seventy for these, and they took forever to sell for twenty five. So. Um, yeah, brands like this I don't pass on, or I don't pick up any anymore. This is an old, old pickup. I saw it was brand new. I was like, all right, I'm going to pick that up. And yeah, it's that forever. So, um, Do Ralph Lauren men's shirts without the horse men's logo have good resale value? Some do. Some do, but if they're basic shirts, typically you're looking for ones with the little pony logo on the front. Um, I found a Y2K black jean shorts at Play-Doh's sold two days full price, 75 bought for 15 Let's go. And some people would say that you paid way too much for that because you could have got it at the bins. You could have got it at the bins, bro, for a dollar, but you paid 15 for it. Yeah, but you sold it for 75 in two days. You're telling me you would leave that on the shelf? <laughs> Those people always like, I'm just like, what? I just told you I sold it for, like you, sold it for 75 and I paid 15 for it. Yeah, but you could have got it for a dollar at the bins. No, it probably wouldn't have been at the bins. <laughs> uh, check all your supplies on Amazon Prime Day. They got thermal printer poly bags. Nice. That's a good idea. I need to do that. That's enough. When is Prime? Don't they have like three Prime Days now? Which auto posture account do I need for cross listing? So there, the auto posture account you need for cross listing. You go to pricing. It's down at the bottom. If you don't have auto posture currently, you can't get the cross lister unless you reach out to her and ask for ask access to it. So you'll have to uh, send her a message either on Instagram. You're already on Instagram, so send her a message on Instagram. And um, she'll probably tell you to create an account and she'll give you access. Or you can wait till next week. Supposedly, the beginning of the week next week is when it's going to rele be released to the mass public. It's still in beta mode, but she's allowing people to come on. How do you handle bad feedback on eBay without wanting to give up? Um, you don't worry about bad feedback. Um, I know negative feedback sucks, but... Um, if I worried about negative feedback on my social media, I would uh, I would have quit social media like three days in. <laughs> um, negative feedback is just gonna happen. People are not gonna be happy with their their products. What you can do is you can reach out to them and offer a refund. Once you offer them a refund, um, you can send a feedback uh, revision request to them, and there's a potential for them to change their feedback to positive. It just happened to me. I had a person that I sent them an item. They claimed that it was stained. I didn't ask for photos. What I did was I just was like, uh, and they left me a negative. So I reached out to them. I said, hey, I'm going to give you a full refund. Feel free to keep the item. I apologize for any inconvenience this, this, has, um, um, this has caused you. Um, and then I sent them the refund. And then they messaged me back and they said, thank you so much. Um, do you want your item back? I was like, no, just go ahead and keep it. No worries. Um, but I will send you a feedback revision request. Um, if you feel like I've helped you out in this process and you want to change your feedback, um, just feel, follow, follow through with the request, something like that, something professional sounding. And within a day, they change their feedback. So if feedback really is that important to you and you don't like that negative, just, I would say, refund the customer. Obviously, there are people that take advantage of the system, but if you worry about your feedback so much, then then just do that. Um, I use Vindu um, in auto posture, and I better, more reliable delisting. Um, I, I use Vindu and auto posture. I better and more relisting oh it's better and more reliable at delisting um the sold items nice 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 what's up sweet dreams welcome in live i thought vindu did inventory um i bought the inventory from the same guy i thought vindu did inventory i bought inventory from the same guy you use what do you mean um dotty I, I thought vindu did inventory Vindu did inventory. I don't know what Vindu does. Um, I've only watched a couple videos on Vindu um, and compared it to Autoposture. I know they have an inventory feature, but so does Autoposture. Autoposture's inventory feature is, is amazing. It's amazing. But again, it's not released yet, so you have to reach out to her and ask, um, or you can just wait till next week. 
I'll have a video. As soon as my, you see my video on my feed, that's when Auto Posture is released. Um, next up, Masters, Masters Polos are selling like hotcakes right now. So if you have any in your death pile, list them ASAP or reprice them. So they sell because Masters, and I believe in a couple weeks, um, I paid $7.46 for this polo. It sold within two days for $22.99 plus ship. $22.99 plus ship. Easy peasy. I don't think I missed anybody over here, did I? Which auto posture? Can I? Oh, I already got that one. Okay, we're good. Have you considered going live on TikTok? Um, yeah, I've considered it, Barry, Barry D. Actually, I have a TikTok account that you need to go follow, everybody. Um, it's K-Way Shop On Live. I think I'm going to change the name, though. I have a better name that I'm going to change later. But um, K-Way Shop On Live, go follow that account. And once I get that account to um, 1,000 followers, I promise I'll go live once a month on TikTok. Uh, I don't know how often I'll use that account, but I, I have it set up. So if you guys can go follow it, once we get it to a thousand, I'll have access and then I can go live. Um, the cool thing about it is I don't care about that account. So I'll say and do whatever I want on that account. And I don't have to be super professional um, because if it gets banned, oh, well, I just make a new one. What's up, Jen? Uh, Master started yesterday. Oh, there you go. Master started yesterday. I don't know anything about golf, so. What defines a master's polo? There's a master's logo right on the chest. That's a master's polo. Um, there's brands that, there's master's branded polos, and then there's also polos that have the master's brand on them, like Peter Millar is an example of a master's branded polo. Sometimes they have that master's logo, which drives up the price. Um, when you register on Autoposture, um, they do not use the promote option on eBay. Yes, but you can set up what I do on eBay. All my items get promoted as soon as they get relisted because I've, I have it automatically set up to, uh, to promote as my items as soon as they list. So even though it gets relisted, it uses the same promotion. All my items across eBay are promoted at 5%. So you can set up an auto promotion for whatever categories, however you want to set it up. Um, so that way when auto posture relists, it'll relist at your certain, um, your certain promotional rate. Auto posture register does not promote on eBay. Yeah, if you set it up to auto auto promote, your items will automatically promote. Um, every single one of my items in my eBay store are promoted. Auto posture probably relisted like five items in the last like 30 minutes, and all of them are constantly getting promoted. Yeah, I only need 800 followers. Um, yes, I can say that. I'm not going to say that right now, but I can say that. <laughs> Where my ex husband owns our Play-Dohs, um, I should just go anyway. Our, your your ex-husband owns a Play-Dohs? I'd like to talk to that guy because I want to eventually, um, I know you probably don't like him anymore, but I want to talk to him because I want to eventually um, own a store like Play-Dohs. Either own a Play-Dohs or own a store like Play-Dohs. Um, next up, Figs. Um, these are Figs women's pants. We don't pick these up anymore unless they're super cheap. These we paid six bucks for. They only sold for 16 plus ship. Not a crazy sale. Not a crazy sale. My husband delivers fuel and does service work. So it's three weeks of chaos. Um, oh wait, women were last week, men this week. Nice. Oh, for the masters, is that what we're talking about? For the masters, I get lost because I have so many comments coming at me at once. I, I, I forget the conversations we were on. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about the masters, got you. I just read your other comment. Um, this uh, buyer paid $9 to ship these out. I'm only paying $6.33. So I'm making a little bit of money on the shipping on these. All right, five more orders to go out. We'll ship a good one next, a really good one. I won't, I won't hold you guys till the end to see the, probably the, well, easily the best sale from yesterday. I actually almost passed on this at Red, White, and Blue. I'm gonna try to find the footage of this because this is a super good polo, and I didn't realize how good of a polo this was until I got it home and did some research, and I found out that this is a very, very expensive polo. So this is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort, um, but this is a Tor issued polo. So the way I found that out is because it has the cap tech on the collar and it has the embroidery on the front. And I believe it has another embroidery on both, actually embroidery on both sleeves. So because it has the cap tech on the collar, it is a Tor issued polo, meaning a professional golfer of some sort wore this polo. Um, I paid $642 for this polo and it sold for $100 plus shipping. Um, pre owned Peter Millar polo, $100 plus shipping. Tour issued polo. Um, this is similar to the Tour logo polos, but these are actually more sought after than the Tour logos because it has the hit on the collar. Really, really good sale. And I literally almost passed on this because I was like, that is, um, that has too much embroidery on it. 
And I say that usually most of the time, 98% of the time, most embroideries do not drive the value up. But this is a specific time where the embroidery made the polo worth way more than it normally would have been if it was just a plain white Peter Millar polo. Probably would have sold for $20 plus shipping, but because it has all those embroideries, it's $100 plus shipping. Um, I went back and reviewed my early listings um, that have not sold. I made crazy mistakes. Yes, go through and review your old listings all the time. Um, that's key, key, key. Um, I found a terry cloth. Cricket, first time finding that, hope it was good pickup. It was, terry cloth is good altogether, and then you found it on a good brand, so you're gonna make some good money on that. Is making money on shipping only an option if you have? So, no, you charge shipping to the customer. Customers pay retail rates on eBay, you pay um, you pay the discounted commercial rates, so that's how I make money on shipping. Do you do free shipping or buyer paid? Almost all my listings now are buyer paid shipping. So for example, this polo was buyer paid shipping on top of that amazing sale, so. How do you deal with um, shipping delays? Uh, when I start Atlanta Hub, it's been nothing but pure chaos and losing packages and not delivering mail. I'm in Augusta, um, even affected by it. See, I guess it's just regional because my shipping, I don't have hardly any issues with items getting lost. So I don't really have an answer for that. Uh, there's no other way to ship them. They're gonna go to the hub either way. So you can't really, you can't really avoid that if you're having issues with it, so. Um, I can hook you up probably, good. I need, I need to learn. I know with, I've re read into how Play-Dohs are franchised and all that stuff. Um, they're pretty expensive. I think they're 160,000 to franchise them. Um, just to start out, you have to have 160,000 or something like that, but I'm trying to, trying to figure it out. Um, just imagine if I can grow my social media following and I can open a store like Play-Dohs. That would be amazing. Um, I never get red, white, and blue live first notification anymore, so I have to watch the replays. Jen, go to my page and then turn on all notifications if you haven't already. There's somebody um, I met at the thrift store yesterday that actually said the same thing. Um, or I, I make those live thrifts early. So typically I set up those live thrifts on Monday. So you can actually go into my YouTube profile and like hit the notify me button on the actual live thrift. And that will always give you a notification as soon as I go live. Um, and I do that a day or two before, like normally Monday afternoon, I'll set that up and I'll put a post on my Instagram and I'll say, go, go bookmark the show or bookmark the live or whatever. That's the cool thing about, um, Plato's closet or not Plato's closet. That's the cool thing about, um, YouTube is I can set those up early. Do you ever thrift kids? No, I don't really look for kids clothing. Um, yesterday I picked up a Patagonia jacket for Chris. Um, that's an obvious pickup. I paid $10 for a really good Patagonia, like soft shell jacket. Um, it was a kid size large. That's beautiful, Barry. Thank you so much for letting us know you're eating chicken and rice. Effing chicken and rice. Uh, you should start a Subway. I hear it's a joint. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. No Subway. Subway is the worst food. I have stomach uh, aches every time I eat Subway. It's it's the it's the worst sub place ever. I don't even know how they're still in business. Um, next up, LL Bean Flannel. Paid $5.34. This one sold for $22. Um, I don't pick these up too often right now because they don't sell very well in this time of year. It's very hard to get one to move. I'm actually surprised this one sold. Um, but I do list these like October, right around October, and they sell like hotcakes. Bring back bring back Quiznos. They do, I, I we drove by a um, gas station the other day that had a Quiznos in it. I didn't stop, but I looked over. I was like, that's the first time I've seen a Quiznos in forever. Um, uh, <laughs> Barry D. Barry, I can't get banned over here. I, this, it's literally impossible. Maybe Facebook and YouTube might not like might like that language, but I don't really think they care either. You can basically say whatever you want. I'm just not gonna read it because it's, <laughs> it's, it's very it's very Barry D esque. You're in Tampa, yes, I'm in the Tampa Bay area. Tampa Bay area. Quiznos was the best. I don't remember Quiznos. I had Quiznos when I was really 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 young. Um, that was the last time I had it. Probably when I was like four or five. So I don't remember Quiznos. All right, last two sales. So says so, so, so three. Oh, um, there's a uh, Grayson Polo. This purple Grayson Polo. It's in one of the bins below you. This one right here. Oh. Okay. Purple men's medium. Um, next up, we got a pair of Mavi jeans. Paid four twenty-eight for these. They sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. Um, buyer was all in for thirty-four on these. So, good sale. Good good sale. Right, that one's gonna ship out for two pounds. I believe I put it at two pounds. I always put jeans and stuff at two pounds. Good morning, Michelle. Welcome in. 
going to ship out for $6.42. Thank you. $6.42. Yeah, OJ Simpson died. Yeah, everybody's been saying it. Well, everybody's been saying it. I didn't know. I didn't realize OJ had so many fans. Smell something that makes me sick. It's The bread is nasty. It's not real bread. I remember there was one on my mail route, and some days I was forced to eat there because um, if you know how mail routes work, when you go on lunch break, you can only drive so far away from your route because they don't want you to use so much gas and you only have so much time. So basically when you stop delivering, you put your stuff in your truck and you start to depart your route, um, you're basically on lunch break. So you can only drive so far and you only have so much time to get there. So I only had one option, usually was the um, subway or there was a um, there's a grocery store that was a little farther away. I forget the name of the grocery store. Oh, Winn-Dixie. There's a Winn-Dixie. I would get stuck eating Subway and literally my stomach would ache all day afterwards. I would have to save it till the end of the day. I would force myself to eat like 30 minutes before I was done with work or not 30 minutes, like an hour before I was done with work because if I didn't, then my stomach would just ache. It's, it was horrible, horrible. Um, uh, about an hour north of Tampa in a small town, um, looking to go to Tampa to thrift stores, which are good. Um, red, white, and blue thrift. Red, white, and blue thrift. If you're an hour away from Tampa, hour north of Tampa, there's going to be a red, white, and blue that's opening in Riverview soon. Riverview, which will be close to you. Uh, back in the uh, yeah. Uh, there. Um, OJ, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe. I don't think there's any like collectible OJ pieces. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. I, I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything about OJ. So maybe, maybe next up Grace and Polo, really good Grace and Polo. It's a nice um, colorway to this one paid five thirty four, and it's sold within a week for $25 plus shipping really quick, easy sale on that one. How many items do you have listed, po listed, po have listed posted on a daily basis? Uh, we try to do 30 per day, five days a week. Um, this week we've only done 60. So we're a little bit behind. Um, tomorrow we're going on vacation. So today I'm going to try to list another 30 and cross list them. And then we'll be good to go for this week. But we try to do 30 per day, five days a week is our goal. Um, yeah. List as much as you can. That's how you get more sales. <laughs> so stupid, Baird. Baird, what are you doing? On, why, why are you even on, on, um, uh, why aren't you on TikTok right now? You're never on Instagram. Why are you over here? All right, I got one more sale. Um, do you use Lightbox? Yes. Um, again, when I make the um, when I make the video about my photo setup and how to take photos and all that stuff, you'll see my Lightboxes. I actually use two. I have a small Lightbox and I have a large Lightbox. The small one takes all my close-up photos. The large one takes my full front, and my full back photos. What do you use a cross list? I use um, AutoPosher. I have a link in my bio to sign up. You get five dollars off AutoPosher. Fully releases the cross lister next week, most likely next week. Um, so as soon as it's re uh, as soon as it's um, as soon as it's out, I'll let you guys know. I can't talk this morning. As soon as it's out, I'll let you guys know, um, and I'll have a video coming out about it too. As soon as it's out, um, but I do have a video on YouTube showing how the cross listing works. So if you're interested in watching that video, it's uh, it's on my YouTube channel. It's my last like full length video that I made, so it's super easy to find. Go watch that video, see if you like it. Trust me, you're gonna like it. And then um, as soon as it's out, sign up through the link in my bio. You can reach out to her. She is letting people have access early to it. Um, but I would just wait till next week because it'll be out next week. But you get 150 views, I'm done. There you go. That's that's the spirit buried. We're gonna we're gonna convert everybody over to uh, the other platforms now. And then when everybody moves over here, I'll start doing TikTok lives again. Um, mode countdown timer on yes 100% yes oh by the way speaking of vacation mode um, when you use auto posture I don't know if most people know this she put out a video recently about it but if you put on vacation mode on any of your platforms let's say you put on vacation mode on um, on Mercari Poshmark and eBay auto posture will actually detect that you're on um, vacation and they they'll stop uh, sharing and all that stuff no lives next week? No, uh, we'll be back by Monday. Just a, a weekend vacation. We'll be back by Monday. Is there an easy way to find an item on eBay that is sold on Poshmark? Is there an easy way to find an item on eBay that I sold on Poshmark? Type in the title in your in your um, 
in in your um, or in your listings. So whatever your title is, it should be the same that it's on Poshmark, right? So you type in the title. So if it's these trains, I sold two trains for thirty two thirty eight, and I paid six dollars and fifty cents for. I would just type in the title of one of these trains and find it that way. Yes, I can say tape gun. Yes, I can say gun over here. They don't care. I can say tape gun. I can say shooting shirt now. If I have a shooting shirt, I don't have to say pew pew shirt. Um, I say shooting shirt. It's my in my listing. What do you mean, Liz? I'm not really sure what you're asking. You're trying to find an item that you listed. It should be you should be able to search for the title, and that's how you find it. So um, after 250, is it worth it to a posting over 250? Yes. Just buy just buy a store subscription. At the, at that point, if you're if you have 250 items listed. If you're selling 1% of your store per day, which is pretty average, you're selling two and a half items per day, um, you can buy the second store subscription and then you can list up to a thousand items um, with no insertion fees. That's what that's what I would do. I have the second store subscription, the one that gives me a thousand. I, I believe that's the second one. And I just pay the yearly charge, so it's actually cheaper. I think I get two months free if you do the yearly charge and I would highly suggest doing that. The cruise time tomorrow, not today, tomorrow. Today is uh, get as much work as you can get done day, so that way you can relax this weekend. Like yesterday I made a video, I was up to like 2 a.m., I was making some videos um, and getting some work done because I know I'm not gonna be doing any work this weekend, most likely. I say that and I'm probably still gonna find a way to do some kind of work, even though I probably shouldn't. All right, both of those trains sold together to the same buyer. They bought both of them separately. They paid 16, 19 each. Um, again, I paid $6.50 for them. I just take them and wrap them in bubble wrap and I throw them in a poly bag just like this. I've never had an issue with um, shipping like this. And this is gonna ship out for $6.16. Buyer paid $10 for shipping. They actually asked for a um, they asked for a discount in shipping because they bought both. So I gave them like $5 off. It came out to like 10 bucks. Um, specific, wait, is auto posture designed for appeal specifically or good for general use selling anything? Auto Posture is a cross-lister and a D-lister, relister. It's, in my opinion, it's the best one on the market. Obviously, I'm affiliated with them, so take that with what it is. But literally, it's it's. I was already affiliated with List Perfectly, and to be 100% honest, I had a bunch of affiliates on List Perfectly. I have basically given up all my affiliates on List Perfectly to push Auto Posture. Um, so yeah, that tells you how good um, Auto Posture is. I literally gave gave away potential to make good amount of money just to push auto posture because I think auto posture has the most potential in the future and the now everywhere. Auto posture is, is the easiest to use. Like here, I'll, I'll, sh I'll do a little tutorial of how auto posture works for those of you just in the chat right now. So here we go. I'm going to flip the camera over here. Um, they're going to be able to see the full screen. So if you're watching over here, you might want to hop over to um, Facebook or uh, YouTube because you'll be able to see it a little bit better, but I'll try to show it as best as I can over here. So boom, how many items do you sell a day? On average, I sell anywhere between 10 to 15. It's normally around 12 items per day. So let's cross list. Um, let's find something easy to cross list. Let's just do this one right here. Everybody knows Lacoste shirt. So this is a men's Lacoste shirt. I've already pulled it over from eBay. It's right here. Oh, I gotta, what am I doing? I gotta show you guys the screen too really quick. Boom. This one right here, we're gonna cross list this Lacoste shirt. It's already been imported from eBay. It takes about a minute to sync your inventory. Once your inventory is synced, if I were to press the resync button, it's not going to add a second a Lacoste shirt. The AI picks up that that Lacoste shirt's already been added, so you can only, you can only bring in the listing once. You don't have to worry about bringing it in twice. Um, and then we're going to list this to Mercari. You guys ready to see how fast this is going to take? We're going to list to Mercari. We're going to scroll through, make sure everything's correct, everything's correct, and then we're going to list to Mercari. Boom. Now this is listed to Mercari. If you don't believe me it's listed to Mercari, we'll hop over to Mercari and I'll show you that it's listed. Right there at the top. My computer's running slow because I'm doing multiple things right now, but normally it's a lot faster than this. Boom, right there at the top, there is my Lacoste Polo. It's been listed to Mercari. So you can see updated one minute ago because it was just brought in. That's how fast it is to cross list on Autoposher. That's why I'm all in on Autoposher. Um, List Perfectly opens different tabs and it takes a little bit longer to do that process with Auto Posture. It's super simple, super easy to use. So that's why I'm promoting this instead. If you don't think that was easy, <laughs> I don't know how much easier it can get. That literally took, uh, what, 
10 seconds to move an item from eBay over to uh, Mercari that was already imported. Obviously it takes a minute to bring in listings, but let's say you listed 30 items in one day. You hit that resync button, it'll pull in all 30 of those items within a minute, minute and a half. And then from there, you just press buttons and you list. That's it. Um, sometimes Auto Posture will like, for Polo Ralph Lauren, it'll change the title to like Lauren Ralph Lauren. That's the only thing you have to change when you're going through. Just verify everything's correct. Normally everything is pretty much correct. And then you just hit list. That's how easy it is. Yes, you can do it from your phone. Um, so the tutorial that I'm putting out, you guys wanna see, oh, I can't show it. Dang it, I can't show it because I'm on this phone. I can't show it because I'm on this phone. I was gonna show you guys the tutorial video that I just made yesterday. Um, that I'm going to put out. But yes, you can do it all from your phone. It's a web-based service. So literally, if as long as you have internet access and you have a browser on your phone, which almost everybody has nowadays, unless you have like a, a Razer phone or a, a, one of those old, very old phones. I don't know why you have that anymore. You go on the website and you use it just as you would an app. You just scroll through and um, you list. So whatever I just did right there, you can do on the phone. Um, you're using that one. Let me see it. Let me see if I can do it from this phone. I'll show you guys how it works on this phone. Now it'll be better for you guys to prove. I have to log in really quick on this one. Give me two seconds. Two seconds. Cheapest uh, place for bubble wrap. I use American Bubble Boy. American Bubble Boy. I don't know if it's the cheapest, but I'm pretty sure it is. AmericanBubbleBoy.com. I'm not affiliated with them, although I can get an affiliate, but um, I'm not affiliated with them. So I don't use bubble wrap too often. All right, um, you guys won't be able to see that this time, but you guys will be able to see this. So here's Auto Posture on my phone. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find, let's do this row back really quick. Row back polo right here. We're gonna list this one to Mercari. We're gonna hit list to Mercari, boom. We're gonna scroll through. Row is probably not on Mercari as a brand. So yeah, brand is optional. It's not filled out here because there is no row back on Mercari. Then you're gonna scroll through, everything else is correct. And then you're gonna hit list to Mercari. And now it's listing. Give it a second. It's a little, it takes a little bit longer on the phone. Two, two seconds longer, there you go. Now it's listed to both platforms. I'm not logged into Mercari on this phone, otherwise I would show you um, that it's been listed to Mercari, but trust me, it's been listed to Mercari. Um, actually, I can show you on this computer. Ready, boom, right here at the top. Rowback Polo is listed to Mercari. You can do it from your phone. You can do it from um, anywhere. You can do it anywhere. Sorry, I missed what happened. Um, it's spacesuit to spacesuit and Fendi shirt. The Fendi shirt um, I gave to Chris. I think he took the Fendi shirt. The spacesuit I left. I, I looked up comps on the spacesuit yesterday. It wasn't that good. They sell for like 15 bucks. So, can you list to multiple sites at the same time? You have to do them individually. So you list a Mercari, then you list a Poshmark. You can't do both Poshmark and Mercari at the same time. Maybe in the future she might implement that, but for right now, you can only do one at a time. Um, it's actually better that you do one at a time and just verify everything's correct. But to be honest, to list a Mercari and then to list a Poshmark takes what, 10 seconds instead of five seconds? Um, to try to do that by hand would take you minutes to do. So yeah, to do them both individually. How many items do you sell? How many active listings do you have? How many active listings do I currently have? Um, I'll tell you in a second, hold on. Feel free to ask any questions, by the way, in the chat. I'm gonna head off here in a minute, so I'll an try to answer all your questions. If I missed your question, feel free to ask it again. I probably um, missed a couple while I was doing that tutorial. Um, do you use the reseller spreadsheet? I use Jason A's spreadsheet. It's linked in my bio, and I do have a discount code on it. It's a one-time charge for the spreadsheet. You can use it all year, and you can use it year after year. You just make copies of it. So, yeah. Um, I have 1,896 current listings um, for um, on Andre. Andre, who asked? So can't wait to try it. Yes, it should be fully out next week. Again, as soon as you see my short form content on it, it'll be out. If you want to watch the tutorial video, that is currently out on YouTube. So feel free to go watch that at any time, and then use my discount code. Get that free five dollars off your first month. There's also a free trial you can do too. And then as soon as you're ready to um, get the full version, use the discount code, you still get the $5 off. Um, but there's a small free trial. I don't know if all the functions are available on the free trial, um, but uh, yeah, there's a free trial for it. So the Poshmark um, contents, um, ask original price. I always put in a zero, Auto Posture automatically defaults to zero. So I don't even look at that field anymore. 
Um, does AutoPosture link with the reseller spreadsheet? No. Um, uh, the reseller spreadsheet is a Google Sheets spreadsheet. It would be pretty hard for her program and that spreadsheet to work out. But when I said that there is stuff she's looking to implement in the future, um, there's stuff she's looking to implement in the future. So yeah, um, I sell books um, from this uh, books from the 60s and 70s and currently sell on Etsy and other places. Um, I should try using. Um, any other place I should try using eBay? Um, you said Etsy, so eBay is good for vintage. Um, you could try Mercari, but I don't really think there's a huge following for vintage books on Mercari, but eBay is probably your best bet, Etsy and eBay. So no problem, no problem. All right, everybody, appreciate you guys hanging out. I'm going to go ahead and head off. Will I do a live tonight? I don't know. We'll see. I might do a cross-listing live and just hang out and do some listings. Um, if not, then I'll see you guys most likely on Monday afternoon or Tuesday latest um, since I'll be on vacay for this weekend. I'll probably still make content, have content um, ready to be posted throughout the weekend, um, but I'm definitely going to relax this weekend. So appreciate you guys hanging out and we'll catch you 